here's why it was easier to lose weight in 1980. And this is based on an amazing article that was published in The Atlantic that looked at all these changes. I was fat in 1980, and I am not fat now. That's pretty amazing, so I've bucked the trend. A recent longitudinal study compared diet and exercise routines of people in the 1980s to what we are doing today. And people eating the same calories and doing the same exercise are 10% heavier today than they were in the 1980s. Now, let me repeat that. The same amount of food, the same amount of exercise equaled more weight. If you believe it's all about calories and exercise, this study should not exist because there is more to the equation than that. The Atlantic article came up with three excellent conclusions about why people are having trouble losing weight today, and I love these. The first reason was exposure to pesticides, preservatives, flame retardants, and other chemicals that mess up your hormones and cause you to put on fat. This definitely happened to me. Another one is that prescription drugs like antidepressant have skyrocketed in popularity in the last 30 years. They're well known to cause weight gain, even with the same amount of food. And finally, antibiotic use and pesticides in soil have changed our gut bacteria and made us more susceptible to weight gain. All of these are independent of exercise and calories. So if you're eating even less and working out even more, the way I did when I tried to lose weight, and it's not working, maybe it's not you. Maybe it's something else. The good news is that you can hack it. There's a few other things, though, that weren't in the Atlantic article that you should know about. One of them is that we're all dealing with more stress, which, which can cause weight gain. And the stress is coming from data overload. With new technology and constant advertising, you consume an average of 176 newspapers worth of information every single day. The constant stimulation exhausts your brain and stresses you out, which makes you fat. So if you turn your phone off or shut down your email or at least turn off the alerts that keep popping up, do something to relax, it can actually help you lose weight. The other thing that wasn't in the article from The Atlantic is sleep disrupting light. Light is a drug and I've been using it to change my state of biology for more than a decade. Your computer and your phone screen emit blue light that inhibits your sleep, and with poor sleep quality comes weight gain. So you should download a software application called Flux. They'll make your computer automatically dim at night. You should get a screen protector like the Zentech screen protector that cuts out the blue light that comes out of your phone. That's available on bulletproof.com. Yes, I do make it. And you should also just consider removing technology from your bedroom at night, especially little blue LEDs that are gonna just ruin your sleep quality and make you fat. Another thing that wasn't in the Atlantic article that is making it harder for you to lose weight today than it was in 1980 is your parents' bad habits. Epigenetics, which is the science of how your parents' behaviors changed the genes that you inherited from them, can make it harder for you to lose weight now. Sorry about that. For instance, if your father smoked, you may be more prone to obesity. If your parents ate poorly, like they ate a lot of processed foods like we did in the 60s and 70s, or a lot of pesticide-laden food, then you may be more prone to cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and hypertension, all of which are associated with being a fat ass, like I used to be when I weighed 300 pounds. And to hack your parents' influence on your genetics, you wanna eat well and you wanna manage your stress. You can actually turn off a lot of the problematic genes that might have been turned on by your parents, and that can keep you thin. You can control this gene expression to a much greater degree than we ever imagined, and I even wrote my first book about this, about how do you do that for your own offspring. It's called The Better Baby Book. So here's six reasons they are having a harder time losing weight now than your parents did or than you did in 1980. And check this out, none of those reasons had to do with trying harder, being hungry, being tired. They had to do with environmental factors, and those are things you can control. Stay bulletproof.